I'm Dorno Porter and this is my Bob pop-up shop. I'm leaving it soon, but you're here to talk about my new collection. <laughs> My new collection is called The Equality Collection and it's all about sexual equality and I work with a brilliant print designer called Karen Mabin and I said to her a while ago that I wanted to do something about sexuality and came up with these ideas for these prints and she created prints that just worked so brilliantly it all fell into place and then all I had to do was come up with what outfits they were going to go on and the new collection is just a celebration of sexual equality and how far we've come as women and lovers. <laughs> Sexual equality is so important, it's a massive part of all of our lives, men and women. Anyone in the modern world who isn't somehow connected to some issue of sexual equality is, well, I don't know where they live, but I think everybody is. Um, it's hugely important to me as quite a strident feminist and I think fashion and politics go hand in hand. And one of the reasons that I love vintage clothing so much isn't always about the shape, it's about what it meant to women when they wore it for the first time. If you take the 60s for example, imagine wearing a miniskirt for the first time. That was such a political decade for women. They were getting into the workplace, they could afford to buy their own clothes, clothes got cheap and accessible, and they were sexually liberated. And I think the merging of politics and fashion is so fascinating. And I think sometimes we take that for granted. So here I'm in a position to have a collection where we literally wear how we feel. And these prints say a lot, but look really pretty too. The Love Wins print is a celebration of love in all its forms. It was a big year last, last year for same-sex marriage and um, I loved the Love Wins hashtag and I love, you know, you see Love Wins graffiti everywhere and it was just such a positive, warm, brilliant thing that everyone was just saying love in all its forms should be accepted and allowed and how ridiculous is it that someone tells you that you're not allowed to marry the person that you love. So um, I felt very passionately about that and just loved seeing the whole thing unfold and I thought why not put that on a print. So. I said to Karen, I want to do a print that celebrates love in all its forms, and I mean all its forms, men and men, women and women, women and men, frogs and pigs, <laughs> dogs and cats. And the great thing about Karen is that I can come up with an idea and then she comes back to me with a print that I would never in my world dreams even imagine, and she's just nailed it with this print. And um, so I put it onto a shirt and onto a pair of leggings. The shirt has these lovely heart-shaped buttons and the leggings are set onto a deep purple and just very kind of easy to wear piece of casual clothing which I wear all the time. Quite controversial though. I hadn't realised until I put leggings into a collection how many people hate leggings and how many people love leggings and how divided those camps are. I mean I've seen hot, hot debates going on about whether leggings are acceptable pieces of clothing or not. I love them. One of the looks that we've done at Bob is these Jane skirts. They're circle skirts, 50s style. They sold really well. Everybody loves them and they have gorgeous prints that Karen designed on them. I think the shape just works so well on so many people. So I wanted to put one of them into the collection and I was like, right, what, what print goes on that? And I thought it's a very feminine shape. And so I thought something quite boyish might be quite fun to play with the idea of you know, sexual equality and what's right for boys and what's right for girls. Since having my little boy, I have found it horrifying about the pink and blue. And it's really annoying, and art wears a lot of pink because of it, because I just don't understand the tough and pathetic. And when it comes to toys, why do little boys get dinosaurs, trucks and soldiers, and little girls get tiaras and magic wands? So this is a very feminine skirt covered in boys' toys. But it's still very colourful and fun and feminine, but um, yeah, girls like dinosaurs too. Uh, the Women Are Boss print, I mean, for me personally this year, I launched a business having just had a baby and I felt so unbelievably kick-ass because of what I achieved. So on the Women of Boss print, you'll see the occasional woman on the phone holding a baby because that's, that's my little moment. But also just women sitting around a boardroom table, women just being awesome at work. And not that I'm trying to, um, it is an equality collection and I'm not trying to push men down. I'm just celebrating women in the workplace and the fact that women are boss. So working with Karen came about because um, she sent one of her gorgeous scarves that she designs to my agent as a gift for me, just, um, I don't know why, just because that was a lovely thing to do. And I got this gift and just thought it was gorgeous. And I love the way that she draws women. I think her figures are just so fun. It's not about beauty and girly, it's just very real and raw. And um, 
I was in the process of setting up Bob and I can't draw so I needed a print designer and I wrote to her and asked her if she would consider doing some prints for me and she said yes and that's how that happened. So it pays to give me presents, <laughs> I'd say. <laughs> I mean I feel I'm very, very, very lucky to have her because I think the prints that we're doing for Bob, I don't see anywhere else. I feel like we've really nailed a look. I mean, it's Karen's look, you know, I don't ever try and, I tell her what I want on the print, but I never tell her how to draw what she draws. And I just think the way that she does it is just so perfect. I feel very, very lucky to have her. I'd say more so in the past than now, you know, fashion, very directly changed the way that women could live their lives. I mean, when you think about when Christian Dior de uh, created the new look and gave them these waspish little waists again and basically shoved them back in the kitchen. It's incredibly controversial, but it's very pretty. <laughs> and I think that, um, you know, it was, it was a very, very direct relationship with the di designer and the woman on the street. And um, I'm not sure that happens so much anymore because I do think that the revolutions have been have been and happened. And now what we can do is take the best of what happened and recreate it for the modern woman. Now, I really enjoy the politics and fashion. I, I'm very into the idea that fashion is a statement. And here I am in a position to actually put how I feel onto a dress. Um, I hopefully continue to do it in further collections because I, I do think that they go hand in hand. And no woman will deny that what they're wearing affects the way that they feel and the way that they behave. And you put on a powerful dress and you feel powerful. You put on some leggings <laughs> and you feel relaxed and you have a very casual day. So anyone who says that fashion doesn't affect the way that you feel within yourself, the way that you behave, the way that women are, I just think it's kind of missing the point really. The idea of using fashion to make you yourself feel powerful, I think is, of course that's what women do. And you know, when I hear women say, oh, I don't care about what I wear, it doesn't matter, I'm like, you're missing out on something really fantastic and a great opportunity to completely be yourself, but have this extra tool that could further make you be the person you want to be that day. And I think as long as you wear clothes that you genuinely feel good in, that elevate your personality, then why wouldn't you use them to, to further yourself? I mean, I definitely use the clothes that I wear to have an effect on the way that I live my life. I think, you know, if I, I do, I mean, I, this, this dress that I've got on now, it's, it's an 80s shape. I mean, it's not like big shoulder pads and crazy 80s bonkersness, but there's something about it that just makes me feel a little bit like, I'm the most important person in the room. So if I had a job interview, I'd wear this dress. And I think it's okay to use fashion in that way. My favorite piece from the collection, that's like asking me if I love my dog or my cat the most. My cat. No, I don't, I don't, I don't, I love them both. Um, my favorite piece from the collection, that's really difficult. I'd say, I wear the leggings every day. Cause, but I, I think I love the shirt. I think I love the Love Wind shirt because I think you can wear it to be smart and casual. And we just got it here with a pair of jeans and I think it looks awesome. Um, and I think the print for me is, is the one that says so much about the last few years and how, how far we've come on same-sex marriage. I just think it's such a wonderful thing. So I think that might be my favourite. And you can't go wrong with a shirt. Everyone should have one in their wardrobe. I would wear it with casually with jeans, tucked into a little A-line miniskirt probably with the Love Wind leggings as well. <laughs> Why not? When you love vintage clothing, you see all these made in London, made in Eng England labels. And I feel really passionately about the British manufacturing industry. I find it so sad that it doesn't really exist anymore or that it's just too expensive and a lot of brands just can't afford to do it. Um, when I started Bob, I was manufacturing in Romania and England. And I'm so proud that I've got to a point where this entire collection is made in London. I think, I'm a small brand and I can do it and I just wish that more did. I would love to think that in 10 years time there are more brands like me finding it really important to manufacture here. It was one of our main trades not that long ago and now it's almost completely gone and when you think about what the alternative is um, it's kind of sickening really and I think if more brands got really behind it then it would come back. Um, so this is all available from the 20th of January on the website which is www bobbydop.com, which is how I realised it looked after I created the website. Um, and also we've got a shop, 33 Marshall Street, and we pop up all over the place.